Hey guys, I'm back with another redstone video. This is my CD player. Basically what it does is it turns block code, which is glowstone represents zero because it is a hollow block, represents a zero because it does not pass through any redstone current, and a hollow block, which passes a uh, redstone signal through, is a one. Uh, block uh, in this particular case, the block code is one zero 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 one one zero, and goes into a, and belongs to this circuit in the brain. So this is one zero 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 one one zero. All this circuit is is an end gate. When all of these signals, if uh, the code there is correct all of this will turn back uh will sorry sorry about that will uh will turn off to zero which will invert this torch and it will let it output a signal uh so now oh yeah and the only thing left is this uh Every time you reset the machine, the automatic uh, code is zero. And so I thought I'd take use of that uh, and put it into this light, which shows me when I can turn on the machine without any problems. Because if I were to just turn it on, the only thing that would happen would be this line would be activated and the whole thing would stop. So there's just no point to doing that. So the thing is ready and I will explain the rest of the details uh, while the CD is running. So the clock spins and the signal or no signal gets passed through these blocks which were just, let me catch up, see there was no signal so this just toggled, now there was a signal and this block stayed out. So you can see the code. One, wait, let me. One, one, uh, one, zero, 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 one, one, zero. You can see the code here. Um, sorry about that. Uh, got kind of quiet back there. So, basically, this circuit is just to pass the signal through to these blocks. Since I'm using a one tick pulse, these uh, sticky pistons will leave the block behind and will imprint the signal into the brain. But this circuit right here uh, has only one purpose. When this piston right here is extended, uh, the butt switch will output a signal which is delayed, a delayed signal that will toggle this redstone block and will not uh, sorry will leave this redstone block uh, down here and toggle these two pistons and these two pistons so when this piston and this piston toggle the signal cannot pass uh, through to this piston anymore it goes to the next one and then uh, on the other side the same thing happens uh, when the whole thing uh, goes to the end, the signal passes through, stops the clock, and you can run the CD again, of course, after reset it. So, the blue line is just to uh, make sure that the signal goes to its uh, respective module, into the brain. The yellow line... Uh, the yellow line is just there to pass through the signal. Basically, this is the decoder, and this is uh, here just to make sure the signal uh, passes through diagonally, and this thing makes sure it uh, passes through to the brain. Wait, that makes no sense, but still, I'll go with it. You know what I'm saying. So... I've just uh, played uh, this CD and all of this turned off. 
Wait, I I'll have to play it again, but you'll see what I mean. So basically, zero. This one turned off. This one will stay off. This one will stay off. This one will also stay off. This torch will turn on. Uh, off, I'm sorry. And there's the output. Of course, uh, the only thing I forgot to install into this thing was the buffer, which I'll place here. I'll just uh, put uh, repeaters here and pistons, and when the signal would reach the end, I'll just have a single simple redstone line, which would uh, leave the sticky pistons behind and allow the redstone signal to get through so any accidents don't happen like the wrong uh, code being activated for a second or something so basically green line is the brain uh, along with the cyan blue line is the output uh, I mean the wool blue line this blue line is just to control the flow of the signal the gold line is to control the flow to the brain the red line is to reset the yellow line is just to stop the clock if you want to and this right here is the CD uh, basically it's the needle Wait, let me reset it this is the needle and this is what uh, sends the power through so yeah this has been my first video in a long time I hope you enjoyed it and I like this video to reach Seth Bling or any other redstoner and I would like to see them uh, try to do the same turn block f uh, block uh, block code into binary code basically uh, sorry I was just checking the code I forgot I reset it uh, basically, so you could turn block code into binary code. I'd like to see that uh, system redone in a different way and maybe get it comp uh, more compact or faster. So, goodbye guys.